Well, if you are looking for a rainy day activity to do with your kids, head on over to the Children's Museum of the Upstate. And this is a special week, too, as Governor McMaster is declaring this week to celebrate all children's museums here in the Palmetto State. And joining us now from TCMU is Allison Storm. Thanks hey, so much for stopping in. Thank you for having me. Yes. And you're right. This is such a great rainy day activity, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know all the parents are always like, oh, we still got to get your energy out, but mm -hmm. what are we going to do? And yep. They can spend hours at the Children's yes, Museum. Yes, they can. <laughs> so it's always nice that we have such a nice Children's Museum here in the Upstate, which speaking of, like we were said, Governor McMaster has declared this week as Children's Museum Week yes. here in South Carolina. Can you talk about the impact this has on your Greenville and Spartanburg locations? Absolutely. So this is the second consecutive year that the governor has issued this proclamation, really encouraging South Carolinians to get out there and visit and explore and enjoy yeah. this great resource that we have in the state. So, I mean, the big question, would have to be how are you guys celebrating? We have a huge giveaway happening right now. Okay. I love a good giveaway, Same. I gotta be honest. Same. <laughs> and this one is really good, wish I could win it. But somebody's going to get four tickets to all six of the children's museums across the state that are part of the South Carolina Alliance of Children's Museums. And you get three hotel stays. So you oh. literally could take a road trip. I did it with my kids and we had a blast and made so many memories. So you'll get um, tickets to or hotel stays at Marriott and Charles. Charleston, the Columbia Hilton, and a loft in downtown Greenville oh. to go along with all of those museum tickets. And so we have six um, museums, as I mentioned, yeah. that are part of the Alliance. You've got Main Street Children's Museum in Rock Hill, Adventure <laughs> in Columbia. Adventure also has a location in Myrtle Beach. Head down the coast and you can hit up the uh, Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston. Yeah. And then, of course, right here in the Upstate, we're blessed with two, the Children's Museum of the Upstate in Greenville and in Spartanburg. What a nice idea to make a whole vacation out of just seeing all the children's museums that we have. And how nice is that you guys kind of collaborate, you work together, you're working together obviously on this giveaway. What is that relationship like? Yeah, it's so wonderful because we're all uh, unique, very unique, mm -hmm. and I know because I visited all of them, <laughs> And but we're united in our mission to cr really spark curiosity and encourage learning through play. So it's neat to get to see how all of them execute this differently, yeah. and my kids definitely had favorite things about each location so they loved all of them and we had so much fun this week also marks a national celebration called week of the young child okay and every south carolina children's museum is doing different activities and events to uh, celebrate week of the young child so for instance in greenville uh the th every day has a theme and wednesday is work together wednesday so if you visit us on wednesday you'll get to experience steam works with different mm. activities there that encourage collaboration. Thursday is Artsy Thursday and we'll have open art studios with exciting art projects and then Friday is Family Friday and at the Children's Museum in Greenville you can come to a kid and adult friendly yoga class at oh, three o'clock and that's included sign with Sign me up Allison. Yes super fun. Now I love that you guys always kind of intertwine life skills with these fun events. I know another really big thing happening for you guys today you are launching pop-up classrooms? Yes pop-up pop classrooms classrooms. This is the third year that that's happening in Spartanburg. So it's at TCMU Spartanburg. It's a summer class completely free. Oh, it's for rising 4K and 5K learners to get ready for kindergarten. So they learn things like how to raise their hand, ask a question, and how to use their inside voices. And every week they are given a new, brand new book free of charge for their personal library. I think it's so important to encourage reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what a great way to do that by giving these kids a library. So at the end of the eight weeks, you know, they'll have eight brand new books yeah. to read every day with their families. The classes just once a week. Caregivers have to come with the kids. Okay. You get the free book. You also get free admission to the museum so you can stay and play with all your new buddies you're meeting. I love um, it's just a really, really great resource. And again, it's completely free, but you do have to register. Registration opens today. So if you can jump on it, you'll get a spot. But I do believe those spots will go fast. All right. So get on it right now. Yeah. Thanks. You can kind of make your own book nook at home. You with those can. Boys. I love yes. that idea. Yes, I know. Love that. Well, thank you so much for stopping in, Allison. As a reminder, the pop-up classrooms are kicking off June 3rd at TCMU Spartanburg location. As always, you can find more information on the classes by heading to our website, that is foxcarolina.com. And now.